crimes don't have a statute of limitations. So it does give us an opportunity to be able to work these, even though they may be older. Good evening. Tonight's big story. Dozens of unsolved sexual assault cases, some of them decades old, are finally moving forward and leading to arrest. It is the result of a new Phoenix police task force helping solve a backlog of cold cases. As Team 12's Adriana Loya reports, this is giving the victims hope that they may finally get justice. That's right, guys. Since this new detail began in December, detectives have already made 11 arrests. The latest linking a man in two sexual assaults from six years ago. In 2016, a 19-year-old woman was sexually assaulted. Police say that man struck again a year later. This time, the victim, a 13-year-old girl. Both cases unsolved for years until now. DNA evidence was obtained from both of those, uh, and it was compared to a DNA profile that uh, was obtained from a, an arrest afterwards. Police arresting Zacharias Mudasir last week. They linked him to both assaults through DNA evidence obtained after a different arrest involving pandering prostitution charges from years ago. The connection made by Phoenix sex crime cold case detectives, a new unit created four months ago. Their, their goal is to be able to bring some closure to these victims and their families. Sergeant Philip Krinsky says the team was created because of the large number of unsolved cases and to alleviate the workload on detectives handling new ones. The team is composed of six detectives from different investigative backgrounds and one sergeant looking at cases as far back as 1995. In some cases, though, previously, there wasn't enough of a quality of evidence to obtain a sample. But as technology advances, uh, they were able to get hits when they didn't, uh, weren't able to uh, get a, a DNA profile beforehand. Zacharias was taken into custody in Mojave County. He was arrested in 2019 after police said he got past a fence into a restricted area at Sky Harbor Airport and activated a plane's emergency slide. He now faces charges of kidnapping, sexual assault, and sexual conduct with a minor. Just because leads may go cold doesn't mean that we're going to stop. If you committed a crime, we're going to identify and we're going to find you. Adriana Loya, 12 News.